All right, everybody, we're going to get started in just a few minutes. It's almost five o'clock. Hope everybody's having a great day. We're just double checking a few things here, make sure that we're all ready to go. Where's everybody from? Why don't you guys, uh, if you're in the chat room, type in where you're from. I'm logging into the chat room myself right now. And if you hear any like growling or screaming, that's my daughter running around. You won't be able to see her, but you might be able to hear her. So just a couple more minutes. People starting to join us now. Really excited for this box, guys. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Helen says she's from Illinois. Welcome, Helen. Nice to have you here. Can everybody see and hear me okay? If you're watching and you're not in the chat room, you can scroll to the bottom of the page on the, the live page and click the button to join the chat room. It's gonna open up in a separate window uh, and then you can just put them side by side so you can see both, but we, unfortunately we can't have them both on the same page just because of the way our technology works. Woohoo! Uh, Ellie is joining us from Pennsylvania. Uh, let's see. T. Matt is joining us from Washington State. Julie says this is going to be her first box. Uh, she wants to know if March boxes have shipped out and if you'll get a tracking number. If you haven't got a tracking number, then yours hasn't shipped, but you will get a tracking number as soon as it ships. Liz N. from Dallas. Kelly is joining us from Connecticut. Precious from Arizona. Julie is joining us from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Pluto from Jacksonville, Florida. Tib from SoCal. Ariana from Modesto. Got people from all over the US here. All right, it is five o'clock, so we are going to get started as promised. We're trying to do our best to stay on time. So, uh, there's a couple things I wanted to go over with you before we actually do the reveal of what's inside the box. Um, but for those of you who are just joining us, my name is Johnny Vasquez. I am the head honcho at Yarn Nation and uh, the, the guy in charge here at Argyle Sheep. And we are going to be revealing the contents of our latest Black Sheep Society uh, subscription boxes. Um, now, if you are not familiar with the subscription boxes, let me show you what one of them looks like. Donnie, can you grab one of the the boxes for me real quick. 
The Black Sheep Society is a monthly craft-along kit. Uh, and what we do is we curate both products and patterns that um, are in line with sort of like what we believe uh, fashion should should be like, right? What what a handmade wardrobe should entail. And so uh, we we have this this concept that we like to call living a life well crafted, and that you put more thought into the things that you create yourself. And so um, um, as we, sorry, our moderator, Amy, is uh, sending me questions and stuff as, as we talk. So, um, so this idea of a life well crafted is um, that you put more thought into the things that you make by hand, right? And that you're part of the story when you craft it yourself. And that um, clothing is this thing that we've become disconnected with. And so when we are a part of making our own clothing, it allows us to be more connected with it and the things behind it. And one way that we do that is through the Black Sheep Society where we put together kits that help you become more connected to your clothing and also more connected to each other. So the Black Sheep Society, we do events like this where we can interact with each other live uh, in person. We do uh, our forum for members where you can interact uh, and get help on your projects or just share your progress as you go. Um, we do live Q and A's with our uh, designers that contribute patterns to, to the kits so you can get to know their stories and we also do uh, interviews with our suppliers so that you get to hear the stories behind their work. So you get to know the story behind the materials that you're working with. So um, that is uh, what we're all about here at the Black Sheep Society uh, and, and at Argyle Sheep. Now, the other thing that we try to do through the Black Sheep Society is give members a preview of what's coming right so you're able to get sort of advanced an advanced look at uh, what's coming down the pipeline things that we're testing uh, companies that we're looking at working with or introducing through Argyle sheep on our main website um, and kits that we're developing so all the projects that we do in the Black Sheep Society are exclusive to the club for three months. And then after the three months, we will put those projects live on argylesheep.com. So uh, everybody else can see and enjoy those, uh, but you get sort of like a first exclusive look at those projects. So it's something that helps make the club feel a little bit more uh, special you know that you're not you really are part of a unique society uh when you join the black sheep society uh now the way that we're going to do things tonight uh just like we did last time we did this is uh you're welcome to ask questions in the chat room and amy who's our awesome moderator is going to uh collect questions and she will send them to me uh, so that I'm not super distracted by reading the chat room because I always like seeing what it is that you guys are doing in there and it all uh, will answer most of those questions near the end okay um, everybody wants to see the baby okay <laughs> I'm sure you guys get here this is my daughter Aurora Can you say hi to everybody, Roar? Look. Oh, they're all in here. See? Hi. This is Aurora. She's almost a year and a half old. And we have another one joining us in about a month. So she's not quite a knitter or crocheter yet. But I'm hoping by three. By, by three, yeah. We'll get her there. She's going go, to go to bed pretty soon. So 
Can you say goodbye to everybody? Bye. Mm, yeah, okay. I love you. All right, so as I was saying, if you have questions, you can put them in the chat room. Again, if you are watching and you're not in the chat room, you can scroll to the bottom of the, uh, the streaming page, and there's a link that says click to open the chat room. You can log in there and ask your questions. Um, and I'm happy to hang out as long as we need to to answer your guys' questions about the Black Sheep Society and what we're doing here at Argyle Sheep. But I know what you guys are really here for is the unboxing of our kits. Before we do that, I wanted to let you guys know that we do have on the website our uh, kits from last month, from February. So um, if you go to the website, I'm going to share my screen real fast so you can see. Uh, this is our website, and now you can go in the um, – you can go into the link that says Pass Boxes. It's going to bring you to this page, and then you'll be able to click on whatever craft it is that you're interested in, and you'll be able to see the past kits. Now, we only have the one kit right now, but soon you'll have the option to see other kits as well. So here uh, you can see all the components that were a part of last month's kit. And our knit kits and crochet kits are very similar. Um, we just change out the patterns for the most part. But you can see our sewing kit was this really cool t-shirt, the Lark T from Grain Line Studio. And all the things that were included with that. So you can go check out uh, last month's kit there if you want to see what we did last month. And like I said, we will have this month coming up very soon. Um, all right. So let's get into it. This is our Black Sheep Society kit. Now, one thing that you'll notice about this month's kit is that they're a little bit misshapen, and that's because the yarn was really thick. And so we had to try and compress it as much as we could, but we couldn't quite fit it into the box perfectly. And so we had to use a little bit more tape than normal and the boxes are a little bit bowed. But that just means that you're getting that much greater of a value. But before I show you the knit and crochet kits, I wanna show you the sewing kit because our project this month is really cool. I mean, they're cool every month. But here is our sewing kit box. And we are doing the, uh, our theme this month was shirt. And we are doing the uh, Grain Line Studio Archer button up. So this comes, uh, it's, a, it's a women's blouse type shirt. Um, it comes with a couple different options on the back here. You get the, uh, the pattern. I'm trying to make sure that you can see this. Okay, and this is a really uh, detailed pattern. The grain line patterns are really nice. It also comes with the uh, tracing, not the tracing paper, but the, the paper pattern to cut out inside. Uh, you'll get buttons for the front of the shirt, which are just little white buttons. They come in this envelope. Interfacing, and then you'll get about three yards of the Robert Kaufman chambray fabric, okay? And this fabric is just beautiful. It's really nice. It's got a very slight detail in the pattern. Um, and all of our patterns, for both knitting and crochet come with uh, video classes. So you'll get a card in your box that has a download code on the back. This one doesn't have the code, obviously. 
um, but you'll be able to log in, redeem your code, and then you'll get access to the video class. And I have to tell you guys, this class in particular is by far the best class that we've ever produced for anything, knitting, crochet, sewing. It's really spectacular. Our team worked incredibly hard for weeks on it. The script alone was like a few pages thick. Um, and uh, they just knocked it out of the park. It, it's, it's beautiful. It's incredibly detailed. If you've ever watched our tutorials through uh, New Stitch a Day, this is a step above that. Um, and uh, I, I can say that because I don't sew. And so, like, just watching what they were doing, I was incredibly impressed um, with the, the quality of the work. So that is the Archer shirt pattern, okay? And that's going to be arriving in your mailbox really soon if you have the sewing kit coming to you. Um, we did raise the price on the sewing kits um, because we realized – we were gonna to need to provide a lot more product in the kits to do some of the projects that we were anticipating. So if you signed up before, you got a great deal because you're locked in at that price. Um, but we did bump up the price by about $10 or so. Um, so that's also to help with the increased shipping costs because they're a little bit, um, they're a little bit heavier than the knitting boxes. Someone wanted to see the, the fabric more in detail. Um, it's 58 inches, I think, the width of the fabric. And if you can see the detail, it's just kind of like a really tiny offset. It's not polka dot quite, it's they're little tiny, tiny squares. Um, but I'm, I'm planning on actually breaking out a sewing machine here and making a shirt like this myself pretty soon because I really love this style of shirt. We have a, a pattern in the store that's uh, for men. This one's specifically for women. All right, so let's get to our knit box, our knit and crochet box. And I'm, we're not, we don't have two different boxes to show you tonight because they're basically the same contents they're just different patterns so here's a box without the label and again you can see it doesn't quite close so here's what it looks like and we'll go through all of these pieces here is the pattern card and we'll talk about that in just a second and we've got some collateral material on some of the products that are included. Uh, the first thing that you might notice aside from the package here is the uh, soap, which is a handmade soap from the People's Soap Company out of Santa Ana, which is not too far from here. Um, they're a really cool local company that does some really interesting things with their soap. And this one here is called the Coffee Scrub. Um, we actually have a bunch of different kinds of soap that are going to be included. This is a beer soap, which just smells really kind of like oaty, but still a little bit sweet. It's kind of like, uh, well, it's kind of like hops, but uh, and organic oats, right? So if you like the smell of like fresh oatmeal this is a nice one um, these are all yeah, at random just thrown in the boxes so if you didn't get a scent that you prefer it's it's not because we we chose it specifically um, we just got an assortment from them uh, this is lavender mint uh, this one is a, a camp and hike hike soap so it has some ingredients probably like a citronella in it to help repel bugs just very clean and fresh smelling this one is a uh, oatmeal milk and honey soap so this one's a little bit like the the beer soap uh, this the honey in here is rescued from abandoned beehives 
um, and then, uh, or sorry, from rescued beehives. This one's sandalwood and patchouli. Very like strong, kind of smells like something your grandpa might have worn as a like aftershave, but it smells nice. And this is my favorite. The blocks aren't this big, but because uh, all those samples are in the boxes already, but this one's charcoal spice. So it's got kind of like a clove and charcoal in it. Um, so each sample uh, give you an idea of what the People's Soap Company does, and you, every box comes with one of these. We try to include something in every box that, that smells really nice, like last month was uh, the cedar chips, so that you could use those uh, in your, you know, your sock drawer or in your project bag to help um, keep bugs away. Um, and so we'll continue to include things like that. Now, another thing that I want to let you know about People's Soap Company is we're talking to them about doing a custom soap specifically for Argyle sheep. So that's one reason why we want you guys to be introduced to them because we will be working with them a lot more in the future. Obviously, if we do that, you guys will be the first to get to see that product. So, uh, or at least those of you that are members. So, the next thing is our project bag, which is a cotton bag. The bag is 10 inches by 12 inches. It's got these drawstrings on the sides, um, and it's perfect to hold a project uh, with one or two balls of yarn. Now, the pattern here is the really cool thing, okay? So, you can see that it's kind of this funky, cool, almost hand-drawn looking uh, chevron pattern that's sort of indicative of stockinette. This is uh, hand carved um, and they are uh, block printed onto um, the fabric, okay? So um, this is not only handmade, but hand applied as well. So each one's gonna be a little bit unique. Uh, you're gonna see a tiny bit of variation. Uh, you might even see a little tiny bit of paint here and there off the pattern because these are all uh, done by hand. So they're, they're a little bit imperfect, but um, they are really, really cool. I was super impressed with how these turned out. Um, they are washable. And by the time uh, you guys get them, they should be fully washable as well. So uh, this is a, an exclusive to the Argyle Sheep, uh, Black Sheep Society Club. And uh, we're considering getting new bags like this made every month. So one of the things you'll get every month is a cool project bag like this. They're great for um, giving away uh, your hand knits as a gift, including the, the bag. Um, and uh, I'm sure you could find lots of other uses for these bags aside from using them as a project bag. Uh, someone had a question about the soap that I'm gonna answer real quick, which is, uh, will the soap scent the yarn from being in the box with it? The soap smells nice, but it's not super pungent, so um, I don't think that you're gonna, it's not gonna affect the yarn too much, and we ship the yarn in the, in the actual project bag, so it's kind of got another barrier of protection. But uh, even if it did scent it, they all smell really nice. So you just have really nice smelling yarn. But I, I don't think that should be um, a problem. There's a couple more questions about the sewing box that uh, I'm gonna answer as well. The first is, uh, do we know the weight of the chambray? I believe it is 6.7 ounces per yard, I believe. Um, if that's the correct answer to your question, um, but that's the only weight that I know. Um, it, it feels like a very nice weight of yarn that's light, you know, pretty, pretty light. Um, are the sewing kits ever gender specific? They're, they're pretty much all geared towards women. Um, 
So the, the sewing kits are pretty much always going to be geared towards women. Okay. Keep the questions coming and I'll answer them as we, as we go along um, if they're related to what we're talking to right at that moment. So the yarn that we are using in this project, it comes from Imperial Yarn and the yarn is called Native Twist. Um, it, is, it looks like a very rustic yarn and, and it is to a degree. But the interesting thing about this yarn is um, while it's heathered and has a little bit of a rustic feel, it's actually very soft and very light um, because it's very loosely spun. So you can kind of see the unspun part of the end of the yarn here. Um, it's made from these little tiny like felted pieces of roving that they then ply uh, there's about four plies, it looks like, in this. And so it creates what is a super bulky yarn, but the fabric that is a result of the, uh, the finished product is actually very airy and very light and very fluffy. Uh, Donnie, can you go grab the samples of the projects uh, out of the packing room, please? Um, now... Because we had such a big order, um, we couldn't get all of the yarn in one color, so we actually have four different colors, but you'll be receiving one of these four colors, and they're all very very close in color. So this color here is Cocoa Heather. Um, this color, um, which you can kind of see the difference again, they're very close, is Quail. This is Quail. We have... Here, a darker color, which is Osprey, which is one of my favorites. And then we have uh, what our sample's made out of, which is charcoal heather, um, or natural charcoal, actually. And so, and I can't seem to carry them all in my hands. <laughs> so you can see that they're all different shades of brown. Um, again, at the Black Sheep Society, we focus on more neutral uh, colors. So you're going to um, always be able to wear it with something. Um, we try to stay away from super colorful things. So if you're looking for like multicolored variegated yarns, this is not the club for you. We're very fashion oriented and, we're, and we do projects that you're going to find um, at, you know, a store like H&M. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what, what we do here. So I think you're really going to like this yarn. It's not really like any other yarn on the, uh, on the uh, that, that you've used before. Um, it's not, not like any yarn on the market. Um, so someone's asking about uh, shipping dates. Again, if you haven't gotten your, your shipping your tracking code, then you'll get it as soon as the product ships. Um, everything should be shipped by Saturday. Um, so again, we had a little bit more um, orders than we anticipated. And so we had to order some extra product, um, which pushed back our, our shipping dates a little bit. But uh, again, it should all be shipped out by Saturday. So um, if you don't have a shipping code by Saturday, contact our support um, and we will make sure that uh, we find where your order's at, but you'll definitely be getting your projects in the mail starting uh, next week, okay? So finally, the projects for our knitting and crochet boxes um, are Sprig, which is our cowl by Jesse Rayot. Um, if you joined us last week, we did a, an interview with her. Um, and then Brickyard, which is designed by Jen Gigli, uh, Gigli, um, and uh, they are, they're both cowls, um, and I've got the samples for you right here, so you can get a closer look. This is Sprig, and it uses what's uh, called a, a waddle stitch, or, or something very similar to a waddle stitch. Um, which creates a really nice texture on the fabric. And even though this fabric um, 
is crocheted and has sort of like what looks like a dense texture. It actually has a, a really nice drape for what it is. So I don't wear a lot of cowls, but I really like the way that this project turned out and Jesse did an awesome job on it. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And uh, it's, it's actually relatively simple. It's only a couple rows for the pattern repeat. So once you sort of master those, it's pretty easy once you go through it. Um, someone's asking if you can request a different color palette. We don't give color choices. Again, we only do neutral colors. So it's going to be creams, um, browns, and grays. Uh, for the most part, we do every once in a while throw in some color, but it's going to be going to be uh, coupled with a neutral color. Um, so, like last month, we had a cream and like a coral, um, and uh, you know we, we'll do some things like that uh, from time to time. But the reason why we go with neutrals is to keep the complexity down. Um, and to manage expectations. So if everybody was picking their what color palette they wanted, we'd have to order a whole lot more different types of yarn. Um, and we would have to, uh, it, it makes it a lot easier to make mistakes when there's complexity involved like that. So we try to keep things pretty simple. So we do the same color or same color family as much as we can with the yarn and as much as the company can provide because we're ordering a lot of yarn. Sometimes they don't have enough in just one color to do that. So, Okay, so let's move on to Brickyard, which is our project by uh, Jen. And you can see that this Pattern texture gives a, a lot of uh, similar appearance to a brick wall. And so uh, Jen really wanted to play with subtle texture in the pattern. So it's all knits and pearls, but it creates this really nice, uh, nice subtly textured project. Again, the drape in this fabric is, is really nice and it's actually very, very soft for what it is. Um, so I think that you guys are really going to enjoy this project. Again, the pattern uh, repeats are relatively simple. So if you're uh, more of a beginner, um, this is going to be very easy for you to do. Um, and uh, every project comes with video tutorials to help you along the way. So if there's any techniques that you're not familiar with, uh, that will help you along the way. And if you are a little bit more experienced and you're kind of like, well, that's super easy, like I don't need help, um, what we try to inject into those videos is a lot of tips to help make you a better knitter or crocheter um, or sewer uh, so that uh, you can be improving your skill set as you go along. So that's another thing that we try to provide with the Black Sheep Society. Okay, so there we go. That is our kits for this month. Um, again, you get the uh, pattern download. It's a PDF pattern along with the digital class. Uh, there will be a sticker on yours right here with your special code to redeem. Um, you'll have the uh, project bag and the uh, yarn, two balls of yarn, the soap sample, and that's what makes up our knit and crochet kits. And then again, you'll have the, uh, all the materials that you need for the sewing boxes along with the, uh, the pattern for the box. Sorry, got moved off out of my reach. The archer pattern, the actual physical pattern And of course, uh, the fabric and interfacing and buttons. Uh, let's see, someone else had a question. Is it possible to get the crochet pattern if you have the knit box? So one of the things that we do is if you are a member, um, you are able to purchase either past kits or patterns 
before they go available on uh, the Argyle Sheep website. So you have three months that they're exclusive to members of the Black Sheep Society. Um, so we'll be making February's patterns available uh, very soon uh, for you to be able to purchase. Um, and you, so you can get just the pattern if you want, or you can also get the kit if you want. The needle size for the knit project is a size 13, 29 inch circular needle. Uh, what kind of yarn is in the, the gold box? Uh, we are going to be using uh, a fiber company yarn. Um, we're still waiting on that to arrive, so I don't have any samples of it yet, but it is uh, there. I believe it's called Tundra, um, and it's a very nice uh, alpaca blend. Uh, so uh, beautiful, beautiful yarn, but I, I don't have any samples of it right now. Um, we didn't end up opening up the gold Golden Fleece Club last month um, for various reasons. We're hoping we'll be able to do it this month, uh, but we're really trying to take everything slowly here. Um, we're really just trying to improve a little bit every single day. So, If you don't get a shipping email by Saturday, what you should you do? Email our support at hello at argylesheep.com. Um, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, there's also live chat on the website. So when our support team is on there, so you can always uh, live chat with them. The, the, it won't be because your item wasn't shipped. Unless you're a Golden Fleece member, it probably won't be shipped by Saturday. Um, it'll just be that it got lost somewhere. The email didn't get sent for some reason, or it did and it went to your spam folder or something like that. But uh, we'll have a tracking number for you that we can give you if for some reason you didn't get the tracking number. Uh, okay. Uh, um, I'm happy to hang out and answer some more questions, but that's all that we have for the unboxing tonight. Um, if you are not a member of the Black Sheep Society yet, you can use the code UNBOX316 uh, when you check out and that will give you $10 off of your order. Um, for So it's basically getting you $10 off your first shipment, um, so which is like 20, 25, more than 25% off of the box. It's almost 30% off. Um, is there an every other month membership? No, it's that we don't have an every other month membership. Um, we're probably not going to be offering an every other month membership. We tried to keep the projects very simple and quick. And so uh, you'll be able to complete the project. If you, if you work on it with consistency a week or less, um, definitely two weeks. Um, and if you, you know, you have a whole month to work on it. So uh, you can also pause the subscription box so you don't have to get it every month. You can pause it and then wait if you'd like. That's also an option um, for you as well. So um, let's see. Is there a range, size range for the sewing pattern? Yes, it's zero to size 18. That's pretty much how all grain line studio patterns are. Um, they don't go any bigger than that, unfortunately. Um, it would be great to have a few patterns for men. All of the patterns for the um, Black Sheep Society are unisex. So they'll look good on men or women for the most part. Um, but the, our audience is like 90% women. So that's we keep them unisex, but um, and we keep the yarns neutral, so they'll be unisex as well. But we're we're not going to offer any men's patterns per se um, through the subscription box. We will have men's patterns available on the Argyle Sheep website. Uh, let's see. What is the fiber blend of this yarn? This yarn is 100% wool. It's the Colombian wool that uh, Imperial uh, Stock Ranch breeds on their ranch. They've been breeding that that sheep for 
decades, if not longer. Um, and uh, the, the quality of this fiber is in the Merino class. So it's not technically, um, it's not technically a Merino, uh, but it is of that same qualities. So, um, let's see. Are we going to show a spoiler for the next month? Yes, I am. In just a minute. Uh, the Golden Fleece box is uh, the, the next level of the Black Sheep Society, which is a luxury box. And so um, you, the Black Sheep Society is our standard, standard membership, um, and we're going to be reintroducing the sort of luxury experience for the Black Sheep Society, which is already pretty luxurious. Um, and that includes luxury fibers. Last month it was 100% cashmere. This month's going to be like a, a alpaca blend. Um, we don't quite know what we're doing next month for the luxury yarns, but that's going to be uh, what the Golden Fleece box includes. And then we might do some other little special things for Golden Fleece members because it is a bit more. Uh, let's see. When would we need to sign up to receive this box? This box um, is, you would have had to sign up by March 19th uh, to receive this box. So if you become a member, this box will be available for purchase to members uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, someone or joined for a full year. That sounds like a support question that you should contact our support about, but because it depends on like when in February you ordered. If you ordered after the 19th, then this will be your first box, so. All right, so uh, while people send in more questions, I'm gonna show you the um, teaser for next month's theme. Um, and I'm only going to show you guys the theme for the knitting box um, and crochet box, which is the same theme this month. Uh, so let me pull it up here real quick. We'll go back to our website. And our theme for next month is Savannah. So we're going to be exploring the uh, beautiful uh, imagery of the coastal Georgia city of Savannah. We've got exclusive patterns designed by our in-house team. Uh, and we're going to be using one of my favorite yarns in the whole world, which is Savannah from the fiber company, which is this really cool um, cotton wool linen blend that's just really great for uh, going into spring and summer uh, with the project. So I think that it's another one of those yarns that you haven't seen a lot of. Uh, and uh, it was a big inspiration for the yarn that we produce. Um, so uh, I think you guys are really gonna like what we've got coming for you next month for Savannah. Uh, and this project will be a project that's great for warmer weather. So um, super excited about that. So April's theme is Savannah. If you're not a subscriber, again, you can subscribe today. Use the code UNBOX316 and you will get the April box. So, all right. <clears throat> Um, someone subscribed when, when we did the pre-sale for Black Sheep Society way back last fall, uh, and they get a, a bonus box. Uh, that box will be coming out in the fourth month. So last month was the first month. This is the second month, April. That box will be coming out in May. It'll be an addition to the box that you're getting for the regular month. Uh, we'll be doing cotton yarns in the summer. We will be doing projects that are good for warm weather. That doesn't necessarily mean cotton, but it doesn't necessarily mean it will not be cotton. So um, we're still 
figuring some of that stuff out right now as we plan for further months ahead. Um, but the best thing I can say is the project will be appropriate for the, the climate or for the time of year. Uh, is there any way you can get the first block? Yeah, like I mentioned before, if you're already a member of the Black Sheep Society, you'll be able to purchase previous boxes. So that previous box from uh, February will go on sale pretty soon. I, I don't wanna say exactly when, cause um, I haven't put all that stuff together, but it will be going up on the back end of Black Sheep Society. So you'll only be able to buy it if you're a member. That box or that kit, or at least the project, not the whole box. The project will be in a kit that will go live on argylesheep.com in May. Uh, do we ever use acrylics? Probably not for this box. Um, we try to be on the, the mid-tier to high end of the yarn world for the Black Sheep Society. Um, and I don't know of any yarns in that class that use acrylics. So um, we are talking about some things that we might do in the future that will, will not be a part of the Black Sheep Society. And those yarn, those projects would use some acrylic yarn, but not for this. The name of the yarn company and the yarn is, this is Imperial Yarn and it is uh, native twist is the the yarn imperial yarn native twist uh, all right cool so um, if there aren't any more questions uh, we're gonna wrap up for the evening I want to thank you guys so much for joining us again remember if you want to join the black sheep society you can use the code unbox 316 to get ten dollars off your first order and uh that's basically about 30 percent off of your first box not including the shipping so it's a really great deal to get started um and you'll get discounts if you join for longer periods of time so three months six months or a year will allow you to get um uh more you basically get the boxes for cheaper when you buy them all up front and uh i can tell you this each month we're getting better it's only going to become more interesting and exclusive and cool going forward um because the more people that we have involved um, the more cool things we can do. We, we have a lot more resources to work with. So we're really, really excited. So, um, Someone's asking if there are going to be any future kits with bamboo fibers. I don't know yet. Um, maybe. But I'm not sure. We're not a huge fan of bamboo as a yarn. So, um, But it, it might have its place. Um, is it best to wind the yarn into balls to use it? It's easier. I don't know if it's best. It's just easier. Um, and who makes the Savannah yarn? Again, that's the fiber company. Uh, what size hook will be needed for the crochet project? This month's crochet project is a, a size 13 hook as well. It's a super, super bulky yarn, so a, a big hook. Big hook and big needle. All right, uh, if you have other questions, feel free to email us at hello at argylesheep.com and uh, we will be sure to help you out with that. Um, again, I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Um, we will be doing more live events like this uh, very soon. Um, oh, we're gonna give away a uh, um, free kit. It won't be for this month, it'll be for next month. Um, let me... Pull up our chat room real quick. And uh, Donnie, why don't you pick someone, a number between 1 and 51? So 
32. Okay. Hold on one second. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 32 is me. So we're going to go right after that, which is Gigi. Gigi is our winner. So Gigi, if you will uh, send us an email or put your email in to uh, the chat room for Amy so she can get in touch with you, we will send you the coupon code so you can redeem your free month of the Argyle Sheep. So uh, again, thank you guys all for hanging out. If you're not a member, get in there, guys. It's This is really exciting. I think you're, that you're really going to love what's coming down the pike. We've got a lot of exclusive stuff that you're not going to see anywhere else. And we're really working hard to curate projects and products that you're just not going to find anywhere else. Um, or that you don't see a lot, you may not have thought to work with. Um, we, we love really cool, fun yarns. So... Um, So um, that is it for tonight, and uh, we will see you guys next time. And uh, thanks again for hanging out. Take care. Have a good night.